we're trying all of the Barbie Extra Fashion Packs on the Wild Hearts crew, and maybe Ken, coming up after this. Okay, it uh, took me a while to get these fashion packs, even though now I've had them for a while. But they're around $20, believe it or not, in Canada. And I wasn't paying for that, but I, I was waiting for them to go on sale. But lucky for me, they did show up at the Dollarama, the dollar store in Canada. So I was very happy. I mean, they are still $5. It's the highest price point. But I was very happy to get them. And then I was also very surprised to find the last two. So they came in two waves, kind of. They released these first three. And then they brought out these next two. You can see these first three look the same. They all have the same pink border at the top. And then these two extra ones. Now this one, this one, with the cherry, it was the last one for me to find. I did not get that at the dollar store. Yeah, I got it at Toys R Us in Canada. I did wait for it to go on clearance. Um, still, the price wasn't as good, but I did make a lot of, uh, I mean, I saved a lot of money on the other ones, so it's okay. So I hope you checked out the last video where I used the Wild Hearts crew. I dressed them up in these. I did this, I don't know, it was a, I think it was an Easter special. And I dressed them up in these amazing... Oh, I don't even know what the name of it is. I will link it at the end of this video. Color dye. I guess it must be called color... You know, tie-dye, color fluorescent tie-dye fashions, something like that, because they are awesome. I did, I don't know if I dressed all five of them before in these fashions, but yeah, I mixed and matched all of the pieces that came with that set. All of these solid color bottoms and all of the tie-dye bottoms are from that collection, and then I needed two extra shirts, so I used uh, two of the uh, the ones that came with the Wild Hearts crew. Hopefully uh, that these outfits look okay. It was really hard to get these shirts on, but it won't be so easy to get them off, but I'm not going to redress them. I'm just going to hope that these different jackets, you only get one article of clothing with these packs. I'm just hoping that one of these will look good with the outfits they have on. Everything is like blasts of extra color. So I'm pretty sure that everything is gonna look good. Uh, and then I also wanna see if this is the buff, new buff Ken looks body. And I mean, let's see if these jackets can go on him. I mean, I should be trying a regular Ken, but um, let's face it, this is the doll that I am going to use the most. So let's go. Let's just, yes, first of all, let's uh, open up all of these packs. I'm also excited to get the pets, but I don't like the pets for their pet purpose. I mean, I don't, I don't know if that's true. There's a really cool translucent sparkly pet in here. In fact, maybe this one will be easier to open. I don't have all the extra dolls. I would buy them. Again, those are super expensive in Canada too. But when I do find them on clearance, sometimes I find them for like $8 on clearance. Normally about 40 in Canada, believe it or not. I guess, I guess this is how we'll do it quickly. I'll show you, oh my goodness, that is awesome. So I'm happy to collect the pets separately and have them, but then these pieces are made so well. So I've been noticing this, and in my last few Barbie videos, you will also notice that I've been concentrating a lot on these amazing pieces. I mean, I always have uh, sourced out playline that are in incredible quality and like a lining in this fur vest so cool comes with this purse which is also an awesome purse to have made so well look at that and it's like it's it's got no printing on it or anything totally versatile I like that it's white and blue these are total signature barbie the movie colors uh cute little pack is that all we get with that oh no there's more wow there's more this is extra. You get lots of stuff. So you get a little pet bed, I'm assuming. That's cute. Little cloud pet bed. And then I guess he gets two accessories too. 
It seems to be all about the pet. Little sun, oh, you can't even see what I'm doing here. The sunglasses for him, I'm assuming he's got little holes or something. Are they his? Are these for, oh, how am I supposed to figure those out? Oh, there are little tabs and stuff. Uh, donut sunglasses, kind of silly. And a donut headband. Oh, he can wear one or the other because it goes into the little crevice. I actually did not know I was going to spend so much time on these pets, but there's two little holes in the side, and he can either wear the antenna or the donut glasses, which I mean is cute. Uh, these are translucent, and these are pink donuts with blue sparkles. Like, this is Barbie core, signature core movie. Cute, uh, but the fur coat and uh, the purse, definitely winners. Plus this open, I guess it appears that they are focusing on her as uh, the wearer of this, but do I have that one? I think I do have that one. This, this is from the second wave, awesome. Uh, look at working zipper. See, that's what's so great about these inside lining, like just like a real jean jacket where you have that, where if it flaps open just a little bit, you're not showing the inside of the construction. Oh man, it's like an 80s up the side leather jacket. So good. And then this purse, a lot of detail on this. It's extra though. Oh, well, I guess those are all zippery checks, big chunky zippers, kind of 90s, but Again, these are, it's all, it's all Barbie core colors, which is great. Okay, a skateboard with uh, that, all those cute decals and stuff on it. Very digital, very now. We got a charm. Okay, that's interesting. So here is the pet, and it is a cute, cute, big-headed puppy. I think that we've gotten him before his charm can come off, and you can switch it for another charm which is so cute. Let me see if I can do that, yeah. It's a little rainbow one with clouds. Oh, that one's adorable. Okay, and then he has bunny ears. So turn your puppy into a bunny. I've been seeing a lot of stuff like that on Instagram where the pets are dressing up as bunnies. It seems to be a phenomenon. Purse and jacket, we stick together. The skateboard is supposed to be his. Most of the accessories apparently are for the pet itself. Let's put the pets away, out of the way. Let's move this. Little things like charms, though, you better look out. Let me clean up as I go. Let me maybe find a nice display here. Let me put this up here so you can at least see the pets while I'm opening stuff. We're going to run out of space really quickly, though. Here, let me put another one down here. And purse, purse, purse. I guess I'm not saving this packaging. Some of it came apart well. It seems to be they have this set on this girl. This purse I'm looking really forward to. Uh, a lot of this stuff actually. So another jacket in checkered. I believe we got one like this. I have something very similar. This does look like it's going to fit on Ken. It's going to be kind of cropped. Really cute graffiti on the back. Pop and a bear. Uh, this is adorable. Cute. And then this, this bag. Record player slash bag. Come on. So nice. I love all of the printed on details on this too. That's amazing. The hat is a cloth hat. Now, hopefully, I can stick this on a doll, too, even though it is going to have two little holes. But even if you have a doll with hair, you could put the two little pigtails outside the hat, and that would look cute. Otherwise, you're going to have two holes in your hat. But that is supposed to be for the bear. I guess we have to put it on him. So, oh, whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Before I do that, we better look at him. So he is sliced down the center with color purple and blue. He is sleeping. I don't think his eyes are color reveal or anything. And then he has headphones that, uh, oh, look, see the little hearts in his ear? 
and these plug into his ear. How cute is that? Come on. This is all about the pets. It's not really all about the pets. And then he has a ghetto blaster, which has a drippy candy thing. So Monster High. Is this a recycled Monster High? But it also plugs into, oh, and you can plug it into either side. Oh, would it be really cute to get two of these sets? And you could plug in two bears listening. Oh, look, and you have the option of plugging the headphones into either side of the head. That's so funny. My headphones do that. My, I bought these new headphones. Uh, that looks really cute doing that. I would love to get another one of these bears. Have it coming out of the side listening to the other side of the headphones. That would look so adorable. Okay, I don't know how to set that up properly, so maybe it takes that off. Anyway, it doesn't matter anyway because we have to take that off and show you this cloth hat. How cute is that? Can I get it on quickly? Come on, come on, can I do it? Ears, ears out of the holes. Uh, it looks like a sleep cap. It looks cute. We call that a nightcap. A nightcap. Get it? Nightcap? There must be many dad jokes about nightcap. Anyway, <laughs> that looks adorable. And can he stand on his own? He's the first one not to have something to stand in or on. The ghetto blaster is awesome. I better put that out of the way, though. Uh, what is the purse? This is the purse. The Ghetto Blaster is awesome, though, for the dolls, too. Not, I would say that this is kind of better for playing with the dolls anyway. So we get two purses in that set, right? I'm starting to mix these up, put that together. Yeah, so I like that. Two awesome purses in this set. So far, the best usable set. Um, that's three. Let's open up the expensive, hard to find one. I probably should have waited for it to show up at the dollar store. It probably will one day, but it's it's arguably the best one. Uh, oh, oh, it's really attached in there. Funny. So very very cute pattern. Hopefully, there's nothing wrong with mine. It's like a house couch. A house coat and it has house coat, house coat, house coat. I've worked so hard at losing my accent that I don't know how to say house coat. Hose coat is how I would say it normally. Hose, hose coat, house coat, house coat. Cute. Anyway, here it is and uh, ribbon around the edge and. Oh, uh, I like I like it. It's so nice. Cherries. Uh, it's going to look really cool on. I really want to see what this looks like on Ken. Like he had to stay over at his girlfriend's house and this is all she had for him to wear in the morning. That's cute. That's And then really nice slicey orange piece there. That is one nice purse. I've got furniture and some deco from... The Dollar Tree, that would look nice with that. And then I would like to figure out how I can incorporate this floaty on a doll. This is beautiful. It's translucent. It's strawberry. Oh, man. Kind of looks like a watermelon, too, but it's strawberry. And then arguably one of the cutest pets in the pack. I mean, that he's, well, that's his bum. So, so, so cute. And I guess it's this tropical vibe. I am a huge, see, a huge tropical vibe fan. And I'm so happy that the whole Barbie movie thing happening right now is in that whole Malibu tropical fun. We've been getting so many great tropical prints with Barbie over the past few years. And I'm glad that it's continuing and even more so now. This is such an awesome toy. I just probably will just stick this in the background of all my dioramas because it's so awesome. And then another extra surprise. This drink is awesome for the dolls themselves, not just the pet. So another two accessories. And somehow you could carry this as a purse, some kind of floating device. Why not? Oh, how is he supposed to fit in here, by the way? I think you're just supposed to squish him. 
squish him in. It's for him, so squish him this way. I hope there's not like an official way that he's supposed to clamp on it, but I can't I can't see what it is if there is. So I'll just stick him in there. I wonder if it floats too. That might be something I might want to check out in another video. All the pets are fitting up there. Okay, so four jackets, the last jacket. I think this is the most popular jacket. For some reason I've seen this the most on social media and in stores. They must have, maybe they made more of this one than all of them. Again, actually, I think I might have said each one is the best one. It's kind of the best one because it's a hoodie. And everyone loves a hoodie. It is, there's this style, I can't explain it, that is very popular with the kids these days. This is pretty much what it looks like. I don't, I don't get it. But, I don't know, I like it for my toys, I guess. It's fun. But, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't personally want to wear a pattern like those walking around the street. Even though I like tropical prints, it's not... I like a vintage tropical print. This one comes with a hair extension, and uh, that's strange. It, it doesn't seem like it fits. And this wig. You know what? Oh, no. I have to go grab one of my Barbies because this wig might work on one of my my Barbies. Hold on, don't go anywhere. I'm right here. Uh, I have. Oh, here's one right here. You might know that I uh, love Barbie color reveals. I put them on WWE bodies, and see look, that is a classy dame. And I have no hair to mess with, but will this wig fit on her? Oh no, it doesn't. Oh. Oh, my, it, 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 I probably might be able to squeeze it on her. It looks kind of cute. Oh, I wish, I wish we had hard wigs like this. That's the, oh, that's so good. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, but it doesn't fit on her and I'm probably scratching up her hair. But she, she looks great without a wig anyway. I like her, this is very, very cool. It didn't look too bad on her, did it, actually? And this is it on the little lamb, which is kind of adorable. This is the purse, so a bow purse. This purse is my 100% my least favorite purse of it, but it's still nice, and it's definitely a Barbie core piece. Oh, and then we have this comb. That's really cute, too. I guess that's because this hair extension, which probably will work with some of the other dolls that have that, but you plug that into the top of here, let it hang down. Ken core colors, Ken core blue with the pop of yellow. Ken Ken's little um, pop color is yellow, his like additional um, supporting color. So again, very Ken core, a Barbie core pink here. All of uh, those core awesome colors in there. Purple lamb. I don't understand that part, but the lamb is cute. The lamb does look funny. They're all sleeping. Are these color changed? Do their eyes open when you get them in ice water or something? Maybe. I don't know. It does happen sometimes, but I like that they're all sleeping and they're all cute and adorable. We have to try on, I guess, I guess we're gonna have to move these guys out of the way now, but we've looked at them. This hair, this can be incorporated into the outfit, I think. This is a great jacket. Again, another functioning zipper. Ken Core blue zipper, pink, purse, comb. I guess we have to put the wig on this little lammy, and we'll move these out of the way because this is the main event. It was um, we were 20 minutes into this video and nobody's even tried on the jacket yet. How are we going to decide who gets to put on what? Should I line them up? So we have her um, in orange. Um, blue, blue is orange's complement. So I can see that looking good together with the pink detail. Okay, this girl in white. Um, aqua jacket. That kind of matches this. I mean, I'm not a matchy-matchy. Sometimes I'm going to match them. Sometimes I think that is the absolutely right choice for her. And then we have this purple 
coat, dark purple, pink, uh, oh, I, I just mixed some stuff up, oh, purple and green, uh, purple is yellow's complement, she's purple and yellow, but that's a different color purple, she's already wearing purple, her makeup kind of looks like that, I think I'm going to go like this with green, it's kind of un predictable with this pink house coat believe it or not I'm going to put on her there's lots of green no I don't think these are the right choices do I have to switch them around a bit um I don't know but okay I think that's good but you know what there's just so many colors going on that it's not going to matter everybody's going to look great in everything so let's try this jacket on her. I do like that they're oversized and that is going to be great for Ken. So I'm just putting this awesome jacket on her and it, it looks like such a great outfit. And I love the, how easy it goes on. I love that it fits great. I love these Wild Hearts crew bodies so much. I can't. Yeah, that looks, look at her. She looks so amazing with this purse. She looks even more amazing. So good. I guess we should try them on Ken before we try them on the girl because then I have to put them back on her. We definitely want to see what they all look. But let's see, Ken. Can he wear this? He's got his Ken Core shorts on. This is a Hunter Huntsman on a buff Barbie looks body. And I, I can't think of a better combination. And the jacket does fit, which is so awesome. These are made probably for both curvy and slim, all body shapes. I actually like how it's cropped. Cropping is in right now. He looks like a TikTok boy. Uh, so good looks looks fantastic i could really see i mean i would definitely you know we'd wear different pants and stuff with this outfit but it's really cool that it fits on him amazing okay next up he could even carry the purse you know what i discovered in the last video with him that he carries things in his hand so well with this hand it looks so good that's going to look good in amazing pictures he is the perfect hand model for showcasing bags so so good okay next up is this hoodie let's check out this on him and try not to mix up what accessories came with it and getting his hand through here is going to be a challenge. Am I going to force it? I guess I have to now that I've committed to doing this for all. I didn't know I was going to do another long video. Okay. Oh. It might be a little too cropped in this case. Let's see, can you put the hood up? Yeah. Can you do the zipper up? I can. I kind of like it. Again, super cropped for him. It's going to look perfect on the girls. I hope that there's no other tight hands like this. I think this is the tightest long sleeved thing we have today. So let's just get that off. And model it on uh, this Wild Hearts Crew Extra Babe. Well, 
I think I want to switch it before before I want to give her that. Yeah, let's do that. Got long sleeves that we're dealing with here and the hands. This is the hardest definite piece to go on because of the elastic wrists on it. We're going to get through this. Thank you for sticking through while I struggle with this. This is the worst one. Come on. Come on. We can get it in. We can get the hand in. Here we go. Nice. All right. It was a last minute costume change. I'm not going to put the hood up on her. It does have a little place to put your hair through. But we're going to keep this open. Let it hang. Hopefully I didn't mix up the purses. And this is the one that came with it. It's extra. It looks good. She does look like one of those crazy little fashionable kids though today. Uh, I'm loving it. Just the quality of all these pieces. I don't know if you agree with me. I love these surged edged pieces. Um, just basics. And then we've got this super high quality hoodie on with it. And the purse is so nice. This is, this is a class act outfit. Oh, and then we can even... Her hair is perfect for the comb embellishment there. So she's going to put a pick in her hair. I wonder if the kids are doing that again these days. I think it looks amazing. All right. Vest, fur vest in pink. I thought that the blue and the skirt would look great together, even though one's more of a sea foam and one is more of a light blue, actually. I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they are the same. Maybe this is a kind of a sea foamy color. Nonetheless, are the vests out? There was a time all of those fur vests going around, all of the boho girls were doing it. <laughs> this I don't think this one can go out of fashion pink, blue, Barbie core. She got that purse. I love this purse. Is it my favorite purse? It's up there, but the record player still has the record player's coolness. Very, very cool outfit. We know she looks good in purple because of her eye makeup. She's the curvy girl. And she was already wearing purple. I gotta see if I can zip this one up. Oh, I wish I could show you better tiny little zipper. I have to put, lay it down to struggle. Yeah, I mean, how amazing is that? I mean, she's curvy and she fits into it and it even zips up. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Pop the collar in that case. That's, that is an, an incredible piece. I like even the white stitching on it. Uh, but normally you'd probably open it because we've got this wonderful lined collar detail on it. What an amazing, amazing blazer. I like the oversized sleeves. So good. Green contrasting purse. Ghetto blaster to boot. Super, super 80s styling cycle jacket. Love it. So good. I mean, goes back to even the 50s. This kind of cut. Uh, so good. So good. Okay, and the last one. <sighs> Tropical cherry robe. 
Oh, I didn't try that on Ken. Oh no. I'll have to remember to go back to that purple jacket, but let's try the best combination. I don't know if his hands can fit through. Maybe the holes are too small. Oh, no. Got it. This Ken does kind of have bigger hands than normal Kens. Okay, there we go. And, and it is a tighter sleeve, but but I um I love it. It's probably the best piece on him, probably because the length is a little bit longer. We got the furry sleeves. He's pulling it off, actually. It's not. Uh, it doesn't look. It doesn't look as funny as I thought it was going to. Kind of, kind of a whole kimono, Asian vibe thing going on. Um, kind of like it. Kind of like it a lot. I mean, it would be better without these fur puffs, but maybe it wouldn't. Uh, yeah, amazing. Okay. Since he has the right hand, we'll give him the drink so we can at least try something on. We can at least get something out of this. The right hand, yeah. So he can hold the drink, which. Again, perfect with his shorts, primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. Very, very nice. Ken core, awesome. Turn the drink around the other way so we can drink out of the straw. Best thing about made to move bodies, huh? You can actually drink. Okay. Does she have any green? Yeah, she's got green in her tie-dye shorts. Plop of this on as an overcoat. I am. Um, I do like uh, when pajamas are worn as day wear. Personally, it just. It's it's a it's a relaxing by the pool vibe. Very very Japanese again. I guess it's a bath or a robe is has a very Asian feel to it. So cool. I love that purse too. Um, amazing. Amazing. Okay, we have one more jacket. We have to try this jacket on Ken at the end of this video. I hope you had a good time hanging out. I hope you watched the whole thing. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Okay, let's see here. I really do have to have a camera that goes down from the top. It would just be so better. These are great pieces. These are... Now, they're so crazy that normally I would match them with very, very simple, like probably just black and white pieces of clothing or just one solid color. I guess that's kind of why they look as good as they do because look, just one solid color with this, one solid color with this. So it's not too crazy. But yeah, normally she's going to look amazing in every single one of these things because let's face it, these jackets, they're the statement piece for your outfit. Um, this might be the one piece that doesn't fit on them. I think I can. I hope I don't wreck it. This. So this might be my. This might end up being my favorite piece. Do let me know in the comments below which piece was your favorite. But yeah, yeah let's not ruin it. I think it's too tight. 
Okay, I think it's too tight. You know what? I probably could fit it on. Oh, you know what? I'm getting it on. I am. It is going on. Just carefully twist and let things fall into place slowly. It is really tight on his arm. Let's unpop the collar. Yeah, that's kind of amazing. I mean, I can, I can probably adjust it, and but it does fit on him, and it looks pretty good. Let's open it up a little bit. The right black pants. He'd look like a rock star in this, for sure. Okay, I have to show you them again one more time. But you thought this video was over, didn't you? Okay, look at her. Amazing. Her. Amazing. It's messy, tacky, chic. Love it. Her. Showed you her again. So good. I'll switch these last two jackets. Getting caught in his joints and stuff. Definitely recommend going out and getting these from Five Below. They have to be on sale wherever you're going to find them. They're old now. Okay. Let's switch it up. fits so so nice again you can zip it up but you don't have to oh it looks so good they did a really good job with the color complements of the purses too so so nice to see everything quality you got a quality garment it's just gonna look good if it fits Love that the curvy girl looks just as good in all the pieces as the other ones too. Look at that. So awesome.